All right, everybody, here we go. <laughs> okay, so you really want to know, huh? Fine. I'm going to start by telling you this. And this is important, so listen up. Your entire life, this one and many others, you've been a god who uses its absolute power to make yourself powerless. Entire cultures, especially this one, have all been afraid of their weaknesses, supposedly. When in reality, they've all been afraid of their power. This goes beyond the matrix of reality. This is something much deeper than that. This is eternal. This is fully realizing your consciousness. This is infinite. This is evolution. This is our divine right. All right, everybody, welcome to the show. Uh, my friend Oscar with the awesome intro music. I love playing that music. Uh, it's great. I need to make that whole track. I'm going to make that whole track available. Today, I have the pleasure of having my friend Jim Shane on the show. Uh, I haven't had him on in a while, and I wanted, I've been, we, I've been trying to catch back up with you. I just, uh, you know, we've caught up here and there, uh, but I'm so happy to have you back to be able to chat. Um, since we last spoke, you had written a book and you were working on getting it published and I have a copy of it. I wish I would have thought ahead enough to, I've had it under the desk, <laughs> just stashed <laughs> away. It. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, um, you've written a book and you've been working with uh, the core method for quite some time. And it is a, um, it is a emotional technique to help release, release trauma, to help us to calm down, get into the healthier part of our nervous system, be aware, um, deal with trauma. There's a lot of uses, uh, but I know you've been studying this stuff, many different methods for quite a long time. So I'm really happy to have you back. I want to talk about your book. I want to talk about new insights uh, and other techniques and just how, you know, we can help people to feel better, really. I mean, in their day-to-day -day life with all the, you know, stress that is modern life. It's pretty, it's pretty also neat that I can stand here and be talking to you on a video screen and recording, you know, a audio to the thing, you know, it's like, I don't know. It's, You're in what you say, North Carolina? I'm in Georgia. Yeah. You're in Georgia. I'm in Arizona. Right. You know, technology. I love this country. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cool well thank you so much for coming to, to chat with me today jim I, I really appreciate your work and i uh, just wanted to touch back with you and, and talk more about it and see if uh, you you had anything to share with folks um well our last conversation was in october last year and uh that was in i guess response to the universe responding to me wanting something to be excited about and in that conversation, I told you the very next day, you contacted me. And so we ended up having a podcast soon after that about the method. And that spurred me on to go ahead and write my book. And because uh, I had started it like three different times before and just kind of like, eh, whatever, you know, I, who's going to care? But uh, people do care. Mm -hmm. People do want to feel better. And if there's a way that can help them do that, then uh, they want to know about it. They'll click on it. And what is it? You know, how does it work? Can it help me? So we had that conversation and I got excited because that's what I wanted. And I went ahead and wrote the book and it got published on Amazon the week before Christmas. And so uh, um, here, I actually have a copy. Okay, of awesome. Uh, yeah, I could oh. run in there. I know, I know right where it's at. It's not far. It's right here. There you go. Awesome. Living a life of authentic magic using the core method. So that's what it looks like. That's the back. Anyway, um, I wrote the book. And then after that, I decided the next step would be to make videos. And funny thing about that, I'm a very private kind of a person. I'm an, I'm an introvert, basically. So I'm not that kind of person who's looking for the limelight. I'm not look, I don't care about the spotlight, uh, you know, the big crowds and all that stuff. I just want to be able to make the information available. So for me to get in front of a camera 
and make videos was like, uh. but I went ahead and used my method on myself and I loosened up and I was able to make videos. So I, right now, as of today, I have 21 videos on my uh, YouTube channel, uh, core, core Method Coaching on YouTube. Uh, I, I guess it's, yeah, on YouTube, it's all separate words, Core Method Coaching. The website is coremethodcoaching.com, which is, it would be one word. But uh, I went ahead and made the videos. Um, the thing that has happened, but there's been some change, there's been a little, a little bit of changes in the last, uh, within this last month, which I thought was pretty interesting. It's exciting is what it is. I love it. Everything evolves, everything changes, we get new insight. That's what you know, I think when you say, hey, you know, I want to get excited, it's usually some sort of revelatory kind of thing or a new take on something, a new perspective, something opens up a new idea, something like that, which is really, really cool. So I'm excited to hear this. You know, I love the de development aspect. I can also relate <clears throat> to the introvert status. Like I, I love people, but I'm an introvert too. <laughs> yeah, I love people. I'm introvert. Yeah. 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 It's a, it's a struggle, but <laughs> it is what it is. Um, but no, I totally understand. Like I, you know, you're putting yourself out there, not because you want accolades, you're, you're putting yourself out there because you have something that could, could potentially be helpful to people uh, and has been very helpful for me, all my clients. I want to say, so I, you know, I appreciate you. You came uh, and taught us one-on-one, -on -one, you know, how to use the method and do the muscle testing and all that. So thank you mm -hmm. for that. And, uh, and you know, I, I really just, I'm passionate about, you know, people, having access to tools like this. So, you know, I want to talk about, you know, what your, your new discoveries and all that, and just give people maybe some practical tools today they can use that they can feel better in their body. Well, this, the changes that have occurred recently makes it even more practical. Um, it, it was interesting. So not quite, a, not quite a month ago, I was contacted. Okay. Now, the method as I developed it in 2015, after 17 years of just doing my research and looking at everything and I put, uh, I assembled the core method in 2015, I've been using it like I designed it since then for about the last six years or so. All of my videos, well, 19 of my videos on YouTube are about the method as I, dis as I you know, created it. But about a month ago, not quite a month ago, a young lady contacted me and she had gone through some stuff over the last couple of years. Um, I had worked with her a couple of years ago when she was going through some stuff and she, it was helpful. Um, I even helped her with her childbirth and doing some hypnotherapy with her. And so she was a very, very appreciative of that. And we haven't talked for the last couple of years because not long after that, the uh, work I did with her then, she got into another relationship and uh, was ecstatic, was happy. And uh, I guess life was good. Um, about three, three or four weeks ago, she contacted me and says, no, life was not that great. And in fact, she used the word trauma mm. that she had been going through and uh, finally broke it off. And she was in a, a pretty bad state. So I made an appointment with her. We got on the phone and we did a phone, a phone uh, coaching session. And I helped her through some stuff. And I used the core method as I originally created it. At the end of that conversation, I was not as satisfied with, I, I didn't feel like I got, you know, that, that uh, you know, release and all that stuff. So after the conversation, we, we, we hung up and I thought about how it went. And I thought about the method and I wanted to come back to her and be able to work a little more with her, but I didn't want to just come back with the same method. So I thought about the method, my core method. In the beginning, what I learned was is that a down motion on, and if people don't understand the core method, I could talk for hours about it because if they go to YouTube, find core method coaching and watch the videos, you'll learn how, to, how I do the method. I'll put the link in the show notes. Okay. In the beginning, I learned that a down motion on the spine out on, on the outside of the spine caused a release. Many years later, I learned that an up motion on the inside caused a release. So I had that information in my head as I was thinking about what happened with her. 
Then I also remember that there were times when, okay, in the core method, I deal with uh, control, approval, and safety. These are uh, important aspects of the method as I developed uh, created it. But I was also aware that there were times when I did the work with someone and I did not use that part of it. In fact, I made a post on, in a group on Facebook describing the method, but I did not include that part in there. And it got a lot of response. Mm -hmm. And it, that was in 2019 and every once in a while it still gets response and people appreciate it and wanna know more. So I direct them to the website. So there was the down motion in the spine, the up motion in the spine and eliminating the control approval as uh, 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 safety aspect. And I thought, well, what if I put that, you know, package it like that and try to, you know, present this to her and do a little work with that. So I sent back an email, or I mean, a message on Facebook and, you know, kind of apologized for not getting better results with her. And then I said, hey, why don't you try this method here? And I described it as I just, you know, talked about here. About a day and a half later, she contacted me and she said, oh no, the, our session was good. We, we got good results. And oh, by the way, I like this new method. I like not having to you know, decide control approval or safety. I like the simplicity of it. It works really well for me. So I appreciate that. And it's working for me. So I thought, well, cool. All right. So I left it at that. About a week later, she contacted me again and said that this new method is working gangbusters for her. She's mm. loving it, that she doesn't have to figure out the control approval or safety. When she has an overwhelming emotion, she uses it in a moment. Uh, when she's exper experiencing uh, major anxiety, she's using it in a moment. And uh, she just, you know, she can use it at any moment. It only takes a few seconds and she's getting major success with it. And she just couldn't believe it. And so she was very appreciative and I went, wow, okay. So I started thinking about this. You don't really have to go as far as to figure out all that other stuff. It's a simple three-step process. What's bothering you? Think about that. That causes an emotion. Feel the emotion and put your awareness in your center, down low, bring it up the front and then bring your awareness down the back. That takes about six seconds. And she was doing it two, three, four, five times. And it would just drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, just like that. And she was getting such good success. I thought, maybe the method has morphed. <laughs> maybe what I've created here is core method 2.0. I don't know. But uh, today, actually, I messaged her to ask her, so it's been about a week since we talked, how are you doing? And she says, I'm doing great. In fact, I'm teaching it to my daughter. Cool. And then she said, I think that we should come up with the words that we can use to describe this to kids so that they can learn this method. And she said, if you want, if you would like to help make like a video or, or if, you, if you want my help in a video or if, I thought, wow, okay. It was interesting because several days ago, I was thinking about contacting my old high school and getting, seeing if I can, you know, have a few words with one of the, one or two of the counselors, and present this idea to them. So this new method, I don't know, maybe I might need to write a new book. <laughs> well, hey, man, I mean, you've already done it once. Why not? You know, um, and uh... it's not on my mind, but uh, I think I just want to take it and move forward with it because the method, as I just de developed it, it works. But this new version of it is so simple, so quick. I mean, you don't have to think about a lot. You just, what's the problem? Feel the emotion, put your awareness in your center, bring it up and down, up and down. Every time you make a movement on the spine because of all that stuff that's going on in there, it affects the emotions. I mean, as I described, there's the vagus nerve in there, there's the chakra system, there's the right. central nervous system, there's the governing meridian. And all of that exists within the field of the heart, which uh, in, the, the energy of it, I can't remember what the scientific version uh, story, uh, Psychology Today, November 29th issue last year, 2020. It said it's got like 60 times the uh, energy output of the brain and about 5,000 times the uh, electromagnetic output of the brain. And that energy, 
spreads out all around us. So as I say to people, that's the, that's the part of you that senses your world. And I say things like, so have you ever been someplace and felt like you didn't want to be there? Like you wanted to get out of there. It was uncomfortable. Or have you ever been around someone and felt uncomfortable around them? Like they got strange vibes from them and you wanted to get away from them. Or the uh, ever popular, have you ever felt like you were being watched? You know, well, that's the part of us that senses that. I call it the bio antenna or the antenna of your life. It mm -hmm. senses the world. Yeah. And uh, it also senses your internal environment and your own awareness can affect that. So when you're feeling an emotion, your own awareness directed towards yourself will make a change in that emotion and it will do it in seconds. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. <laughs> yeah, no, I think that's great. So just uh, just so I'm clear, whenever you're go you're taking that awareness, you know, uh, up up the spine and then down the spine, is that are you breathing in and br and bringing that awareness up the spine and then up to the t and then out and then down the outside of the spine? I don't even really uh, address the breath. I just simply address. Um, I, I guess a person could do that, I suppose, okay. but okay. I just say direct your awareness okay. into your center, back at your spine, uh -huh. not your belly or your outside ring, hit the spine with your, your awareness. And I tell people the pointing, take your fingers and just point where your awareness is. You point on the way up in the front, but you don't point on the way down in the back. On the way down, you imagine like someone stroking their fingers down your spine. Like ASMR, so, you get the tingles. Um, I guess it could be something like that. <laughs> no, I, I'm just throwing that. But, but see, that comes from the very my very first experience with uh, energetic psychology, at least in a in a classroom setting, um, emotional complex clearing with Dr. Brad May. His method used a guided visualization and stroking down the spine with the fingers. And that downward motion touching the spine and that upward motion, it has a powerful effect either way. So each time you move the awareness, either up or down, it's dropping the intensity of the emotion down. Yep. So one time can do it, depending on the, the, the thing you're dealing with, or maybe it might take two or three times, but you're gonna notice a change in how you feel and it gives you control over your emotions and it gives you more control over your life. And having control is okay. People, people make it like it's the enemy of trying to hang on to control. No, having control feels good. Mm -hmm. Being out of control, not having control, that feels chaotic, feels crazy. Yeah, absolutely. So that's where I'm at with that. Anyway. Yeah, no, <laughs> I, I, I couldn't agree more. No, I'm just trying to um, just clarify just to, you know, be as, as clear as possible, because I can direct people to our previous chat where, man, I mean, you were just listing all these different techniques that you learned in like the nineties, oh, wow. you know, like all these different books and all these different people who had these little, and so you've taken all from all of those different methods and synthesized them into the core method, which is so straightforward. And you've just boiled it down even simpler, you know, yeah, I, so yeah. I'm just trying to get an accurate idea of uh you know and, and that way the, the people whoever's listening to this can kind of start to see how it works in their body you know uh-huh yes yeah, it's, it's, it's just real simple i i i know breathing has an effect i mean you, you look at tony robbins when he talks about change your state you know stand up stand strong breathe deep and all that stuff and Power a lot of stance. other people yeah, yeah, the power stance, go, 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 and all. Well, that. I mean, breath work. I've had a lot of uh, breakthroughs that way. Really, um, my friend Jay leads a breath work class on Zoom, and it's awesome. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, in live, in live, real time. You know, it's not like a recorded thing. It's like, you know, it's it's really, really powerful. And I've had that happen. I think they both could be combined. You know, like doing some Reiki or you know whatever. Um, yeah. um, uh, yeah, there's 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 a lot to the breath work like Wim Hof yeah and what he's been teaching recently um you know sitting in snow and ice and, and the ice man thing yeah um yeah the breath is powerful but the the method as I've yes got it boiled it down to is so simple you don't have to think about breathing or anything else right just on. 
What's the story? Feel the emotion. Put your awareness here. Bring it up and down. Up, up and down. Circulate around the, the spine, all the way to the top of the head, down to the tailbone. Cool. And it changes your state. Okay. That's great. Yeah, and I know it, and it, it definitely does. I just want to, you know, illustrate it as clearly as possible for everybody. I didn't know if, yeah. if maybe that mattered or or not. You can add that if you like or uh, or whatever. Like, but uh, but yeah, the breathwork stuff has been fun to mess around with too. That's kind of, I guess it's it's new to me. Um, so that's been that's been pretty interesting, uh, to add to all of this. Now I made those two videos uh, and and posted them just Monday of this week. And referring to this change the first video number 20 is kind of an introduction to number 21 number 20 is kind of like tells the backstory kind of like what i did with you about that young lady and how it changed because i worked with her 21 basically takes a person who doesn't even know the core method or doesn't even know energetic psychology and takes them from the beginning and helps them understand the background of it and then takes them to using it someone posted under there make a new video of just the method and i thought okay i can do that other people have also asked how do you use the method with manifesting because well we want our stuff you know <laughs> manifesting is not about stuff well, who are these people i want to bit their heads together well yeah. i guess for some people it's about stuff whatever um yeah. <laughs> but no that's we do that's yeah i mean we all i get it we can go yeah we can I mean, definitely go wallace Wall wallace waddle's book uh the science of getting rich yes one of the main things he says in the very beginning is, is you need to have things you in order to apply yourself to the world because the world is full of things well things cost money yeah you know I mean, if you're going to travel if you're going to have a home if you're going to play video games if you're going to uh do art it all that stuff costs money and so uh People want their stuff, whatever that yeah. may be. They're, totally. They're, they're yeah, I'm not. Cars. I'm not trying to knock anybody for for developing themselves or being successful. I'm not saying money's bad or anything. I just no, no. I just want to think about uh, what is your motivation. I guess is for manifesting. But I think because I think for some people maybe they're you know sort of in a place where um, it's about physical objects, right, or something like that. I don't think that's and, that, and that's fine. That's whatever, however you want to live. But I'm just saying like with the core method, with what it is that you're trying to bring in, it should be a healthy version, something specifically, you know, uh, that fits you, that's attuned to you, tailored to you, yeah. right? And to live like a more authentic and, and real life. And that means the best things. It doesn't mean you should be poor. I'm not saying that. I just want to make that clear, but yeah. I, it's just, it's just funny. Like, you, you know, cause manifesting is just not, it's not just about stuff. It's, it's, it's about a lot. It's about your life and the people who are in it and, you know, all that kind of stuff, you know, you can use the method to improve your spirituality. Absolutely. A lot of people have questions about all that kind of stuff and confusion True. sometimes exists. The core method can reduce confusion and help you gain clarity and focus and make me less defensive about manifesting stuff <laughs> yeah i mean you can, you, you can you can use it you can use it however you want to it's awesome. but uh it, 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 it's it's such a simple process and and what i've been uh teaching and talking to people you know when i'm messaging back and forth with people is that we think about 60 plus thousand thoughts a day a lot as I teach, every thought generates a feeling or an emotion. The good feelings and emotions, we want more of those. The neutral ones are no problem. But all those negative things, when we beat ourselves up, when we curse something that happened, we curse an organization, the government, our boss, um, when the car breaks down, you know, when the bills come and we don't have the money, you know just life as we like to call it um i talk about how all of our thoughts every single one of them generates a feeling or an emotion well you can think certain thoughts on purpose generate that emotion and eliminate that emotion so thoughts about your past 
thoughts about your, pre your present, thoughts about your future. And as you do that, you can begin to clear the stuff out of the way that is making you the person that you are now so that you can become the person that you're, you're capable of. Whether it has to do with your physical wherewithal, your emotional wherewithal, your, your mental, um, your spiritual. And you can clear this, this stuff out of the way because as I, I tell people, in manifesting, you think a thought and it generates an emotion. Use the method to clear the emotion if it's not helpful. And so you, how you think a thought is basically how I, how I teach is create a statement, make a statement about that thing. Like for instance, a person wants to make say $100,000 a year. Well, you make a statement as if it's already true and your, your body will respond to that with an either a strong feeling or a weak feeling. So you pay attention to that. So you make the statement like, I, I now make $100,000 a year. Uh, or basically it's, it's better to say, I'm the kind of person who makes $100,000 a year. The subconscious mind will resist the idea that you're making that much if you're not. But if you want to become that kind of person who does that, that's a quality thing about yourself, not an actual physical reality. And you want to have that quality because yes, absolutely. when we look at our lives, pe people want to know how to manifest. And as I'm going to, uh, this is stuff that I want to put in this next book if I, if I decide to do this, we're already manifesting. Yes, we are. We are already manifesting. All you got to do is look at your life and see the stuff you manifested. The thing is, is that all that stuff that's in your life right now, your bank account, your car, your home, your job, your relationships, all that stuff the way it is right now, that belongs in your life. The reason is, is because it vibrates the same as you do. It's a match. If you was to try to pull something in that's not a match to yourself, you can do that. You can use willpower and force it and focus and think as if and live in the moment, you know, and just, you can make all that stuff happen and bring it into your life. The thing is, is that once you relax, you say, yay, I've got it now. I can enjoy it. You relax all that energy that you focused on it. And those mismatch of energies, the vibration, who you are and what that thing is, it will pull it right back out of your life. Mm -hmm. And I wonder how many people who would be listening or watching this um, would uh, have had that kind of experience where they brought something into their life and then not long after they got it, it disappeared from their life. Yeah. And that's because it's not a match. Right. So the idea is not to get stuff. Yeah. The idea is to become the kind of person who has what, what you want or is living the kind of life that you, that you dream of. You want to become that kind of person. And how you do that is by letting go of all the things that's blocking it. Yeah, that's so good. I love that so much. Yeah, I mean, you see the balancing forces. Um, and I love, <laughs> I love where you went with that, though. It's exactly what it is. You know, that's exactly yeah. what it is. And so if you want I to love, give it a name, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I love how your method, you know, you are basically re reducing importance. That's what you're doing. You know, it's uh -huh. like, it's one thing to say, reduce importance or drop importance. But, and it's another thing to say, hey, here's a tool that can help you with that very thing that you yeah. are struggling so hard in. Because it's, 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 it's one thing, it's easier said than done, you know, but I'm totally with you on that because like really where, it's not about stuff. It is about being that person. I told, I, could, I, 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 I could not agree more. And so that's yeah. the kind of thing that I want to see people clear out where they think that the stuff matters. It's not. It's good. It's okay to have stuff, but that's not the emphasis. Oh, yeah. That's not at the cause of the thing. It's like the cause of the thing is being the type of person that can, can, and, and, and also, you know, one thing I think people can just get really selfish with the whole idea of manifesting. Like I get all this stuff and I just blah, blah, blah. It's like, well, great. But what are you, you know, what are you giving? What's, what's something that, you know, is a win-win, you know, that yeah. focus there, let's focus toward that instead of just like, you know, I, I don't know. It just seems so shallow, but it's I about, love where you went with it. It's that. about satisfying your ego. Right. You're eventually going to be unsatisfied with it. You always be unsatisfied. But if it's about becoming the kind of person that you, you are capable of, then 
you will naturally find yourself in those new life tracks because that's where you belong. Yep. Like I say, the stuff that's in your life right now, it belongs there. That's why it's there. That's right. It, it matches in vibration to who you are. When you change stuff, okay, it's like, say for instance, you have, you're, you're, you're quick to anger or uh, you get embarrassed easily or, you know, whatever the, the, the thing is that you deal with, when you start to release all those, those, those emotions and those, those uh, blocks, uh, you start changing beliefs, you start changing your identity. You're actually working with your own identity. You change one little thing. You used to do life this way, and now you let go of that feeling of that need, that, that attachment to that thing. You've changed an aspect of your identity, who you are. And as you do that more and more on a daily basis, you begin to find yourself in new life tracks and you won't have to try to manifest things. Right. They'll show up because yep. they're supposed to be there. Exactly they right. belong there. So the nicer car, the nicer home, the uh, fatter bank account, the nice vacations, the, the better relationships, all that stuff people think they want, you know, it's not about having it because you want it. Right. It's about who you are. When you become that person, that stuff naturally shows up and you don't, you don't struggle and fight to get that stuff. It just, it's just, a, it becomes a part of your life. It's like it's a symptom of being who you are, right? Like That's exactly right. It just kind of comes naturally into, into your life. Yes, absolutely. I love that. That is such a great take on that. Cause yeah, again, you know, I didn't mean to like speak up, but I, I don't know why it triggers me the whole like manifesting thing. But really what I r really want to get to is the cause of it. You know, it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's that, 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 you know, in the movement or whatever, people are like, oh, I'm just going to manifest a, whatever the thing is, a Band-Aid, right? It's a band, <laughs> whatever it is, it's a Band-Aid. And so, uh -huh. and, and so in, instead of doing that, I really think what you're talking about is that's at the cause and then the effect, you know, are. The, the cause is our identity. Yes. The effect is the life that shows up because of that's who we are. It's a reflection. Absolutely. Yep. Mm -hmm. I love that. So, yeah. So that's amazing. So yeah, let's riff on that for a minute. If you don't mind, <laughs> I think that's such a great thing to think about, you know, going from this place where, you know, uh, what we've attracted into our life might not be what we want and stepping that up, you know, using the core method a bit. Yeah. When that stuff shows up, when your, your bank account is too low, I mean, People tend to live, a, a, a vast majority of people tend to live at the level of survival. I mean, it's a common, commonly understood thing that people are only about one month or so away from bankruptcy. Yeah. So we're always thinking about our physical wherewithal, you know, our, our house, our car, our bank account. Um, you know, when something breaks down, the car breaks down, the washer goes whack, you know, these are things that have to be fixed. Now they're going to cost us extra money. I don't know if I have the extra money. I got to check my bank account. I got to check with my CPA or whatever. These are things that people deal with. All of that is because of who we are. It, it's a match to who our, our vibration, our, our, our identity. Well, when you begin to let go of that stuff, of who we are, that uh, identity thing, beliefs you can change beliefs with the core method in a matter of moments um people think it's so hard to do a belief is a story and as i explain problems problems have two parts there's the story or what happened and there's the emotion that the story generates if either of those two parts is missing there's no problem well a belief is a story if you have a belief about yourself and it's blocking you, that's the emotion you're going to feel. You're going to feel that block inside. So you think of the, the belief, feel the emotion that's attached to it, do the method, go up and down the spine, go around a few times, reduce that emotion, and then go back and check and see if it's, if it's still as true as it was before, because that, that truth about that belief will drop down. You'll release your attachment or your belief in that belief so to speak mm -hmm. okay so like i'm too old to start a business well that's a belief and like i say we think over sixty thousand thoughts a day well you can 
purposely think thoughts and feel the emotion that it generates and eliminate the emotion, which means the, the belief now becomes basically moot. Another thing too is the subconscious mind every day serves up its contents. We think those thoughts. I mean, you're doing your job. It may be a humdrum job. You've jo your mind can start to wander. You think about her or him or, or what they did or what the government did or all this stuff. And all that thinking is bringing up emotions. And so you think these thoughts and you're feeling these emotions all day long. Maybe you're not so happy with your job. Maybe you don't like the boss. Maybe you don't get along with your workmates. Maybe your relationships are not doing so well. Maybe you're, you know, thinking about that bankruptcy you know the car broke down and you, you had to get a ride to work today i don't know there's all this stuff that we think about all those thoughts generate emotions well in any given few seconds you can think that thought whatever it is and circulate the spine reduce that emotion and let it go and the thing is is that as you do this you change your frequency your vibration and you're going to find that as you do this all day long, just think about stuff. When that emotion comes up that's negative, doesn't feel comfortable, just do that. Take six seconds, six seconds. Go around the, the, the uh, spine one time with the awareness, go up the front, down the back. Let it drop a little, or maybe it might drop all the way, up and down, up and down. Just circulate, use your awareness and circulate. And the more you drop that emotion, the less attachment you have or aversion because attachment, aversion, resistance, um, do I deserve it? Am I worthy of it? Do I have a right to it? These are things that we deal with inside and they're invisible. We don't know we're doing that to ourselves. That's right. It's self-sabotage. You wouldn't, you wouldn't, you can't know it because you can't identify it. Otherwise it wouldn't be self-sabotage. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> That's right. So <laughs> the thoughts come up all day long. Uh -huh. You're having thoughts all day long. And every one of them generates an emotion. If it's a happy thought, like a memory that you spend at Disneyland or whatever, um, that feels good. You want more of those. But those bad ones, those ones that make you feel bad, right there on the spot, nobody's looking. Nobody knows what you're doing. You can just circulate your, your spine. You change how you feel about that thought. And as you do on all those different thoughts you have during the day, you begin to reduce the tension in your life and your life begins to match your relaxed state. In other words, you're beginning to move up the life track thing. All that stuff that you wish you had, eventually in time, and you, we gotta deal with time. Um, it's like that uh, 100 ton train traveling at 80 miles an hour. Right. It doesn't just stop on a dime and make right. a left-hand turn. Right. It takes a little while and that's what your life is. Yeah, it's barreling along at 100 miles an hour and and you got to slow it down a little at a time by reducing that's right and then you can make that turn and start up the hill and find yourself in a whole new world because you've become that kind of person yeah you've let go of the beliefs the the the, uh, the values can change beliefs attitudes opinions judgments all that stuff can change over time and you will become a different person and maybe people who are who know you might ask you what are you doing you're different you you're happier what have you been doing i want some of what you got <laughs> and that'll happen i've had people tell me that by using the method that's awesome so yeah it's real yeah no absolutely i i love it i, I like i said I, I use it a lot in myself and i teach it as well so you know i just want to try to make it as clear as possible you know for anybody out there who's maybe new and, uh, and just kind of looking into this and they can obviously go to your YouTube channel and get all this information and mm -hmm. start doing it themselves, uh, right now, you know, but yeah, there's definitely, you know, a, a bit of a time, uh, difference, you know, we can't just let go of everything all at once. Um, it takes a little time, but you gotta yeah. be patient with yourself. Yeah. And if you feel like you're being impatient, do the method. <laughs> Yeah. It works on impatience. It works on doubt. I mean, people want to be able to, like I teach muscle testing. A lot of times I run into a person who's like, oh, I don't, I don't know. If, I don't trust myself to do that. I don't, I don't know if I'm getting the right answer when I do muscle testing. Then do the method on that. That's doubt. 
right. just release that doubt and let yourself feel that confidence yeah. because it's just a mental state. That's right. all it is. Your right. body, anybody's, everybody's body responds to the truth and to something that's not true. We respond to the truth with a strength in the body and we respond to something that's not true with a weakness in the body. Yeah. And so we can learn to muscle test, but uh, if you're sensitive to the sense or, or the state of your body, whether you're feeling a strong feeling or you're feeling a oh, not so strong feeling, a weak feeling, that'll tell you where you're, which direction you're headed. And so, uh, yeah, just keep releasing. Do the method, it's easy, it takes seconds. In seconds, you can change how you feel about that person, that situation, that thing, what happened, you know? Especially when you change how you feel about that stuff, that stuff changes for you. It's like Wayne Dyer says, when you change the way you see the world, the world you see changes. Yeah, it's not. And it will. Yeah. Yeah, we're not, we're doing this work. We're not letting anything go. We're not stuffing anything away. We're no, accepting what it is and changing our relationship to it. You know, there you like, go. that's yeah. really what it's ultimately about. So, you know, just to kind of say that uh, to make it as clear as possible that, you know, this is not, you know, it's not avoidance or any of that. It's in fact, it's the opposite. It's, 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 it's integrating, it's completing, it's allowing everything to be as it is as opposed to like fighting against it or shutting it out or any of those types of things, right? It's accepting responsibility for your own emotions and your own beliefs and states that you experience on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. And the way, the best way to accept responsibility for them is to have a way to make the changes that you want. And most people want to feel better. They want yeah, to be absolutely. happy. They want to feel free. Yeah, yeah. You know? yes. They want to live with less anxiety. Yep. And depression and PTSD, the core method works on all that stuff because yes. it's all really just emotions, mm -hmm. even as complicated as we might think that is, you know, our, our, our past is so complicated and it's going to take years to try to sift through all that stuff. No, you just think the thought, feel the feeling, release the feeling and the thought becomes moot and to do it a little bit at a time, be patient with yourself, do the method on your patients and work with yourself and you're going to find yourself getting lighter and lighter and lighter uh, it just works yeah it's simple feel the emotion or think this the, uh, the thought think about the story feel the emotion put your awareness in your center bring it up and down once you think of the story the subconscious mind gets it that's the one that's intended that's the one we're working on when you feel the emotion to that story the subconscious mind gets it it served it up. You thought the, you thought about the story. The emotion comes up automatically because the subconscious mind is going, that's the one. Yes, let's go ahead and do that one right now. Here's the emotion. Do the thing because you got to give it your permission, basically. So when you do the method, you're giving it permission and it's leaving up the front, down the back, up the front, down the back. Take six seconds. Wow. Think the thought, feel the emotion, do the method, up and down. Like, yeah up the front down the back up the front simple as that down the back simple and you can do it oh you, you can go around and around if you want to because every time you do you're feeling it it'll it'll reduce it more and more and more you can eliminate so much crap you can do six months of paid therapy in 15 minutes for free how about that here's yeah. a deal for you that's a pretty good deal <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's a pretty good deal. Well, awesome. So uh, people can find you coremethodcoaching.com. Yep. Um, I'm going to link the YouTube channel and you guys can watch all of uh, Jim's videos. They're there. Um, dude, thank you so much. I mean, so much wisdom and, so, and compressed into such a nice, uh, easy to swallow uh, method. And it's amazing. So thank you so much again for your work, folks. I mean, you're getting really, really good uh, technique here uh, for, you know, just, man, I mean, it's so powerful. Put it to work, give it a shot, six seconds, right? I mean, what, what, a, what a millennial technique, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. It's they awesome. Use it too. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's hip, it's trendy, uh, all that stuff. So, well, thank you so much, Jim. Um, You're welcome. Guys, yeah, Jim's on Facebook. Hit him up, send him a friend request uh, over there. Uh, you'll see him maybe in the 
uh, Brian's group, the Reality Revolution, posting some stuff from time to time. And, and then uh, the ITI group with uh, yeah. Renee. Okay, great. Renee yeah. Allen. Send this man uh, a the, message. And the subconscious mind. <laughs> Send this gentleman a message. Hit him up on Facebook if you want to work with him one-on-one. -on -one. And again, I'll link everything in the show notes. Thank you so much. All right. Owen, thank you very much. I appreciate the time. Thank you. It's my pleasure. All right.